Twilight here from Melvani, and with us today we have legendary Axeman, Mr. Herman Frank. How are you doing, brother? I'm very fine, thanks a lot. Man, four years, you know, it's been, and you're here back with The Devil Rides Out. Must be a great feeling to get back in action with writing songs. I mean, you know, to be honest, I never thought there would be another Herman Frank album, but here we are, four years later, Ball Hog Zone. What do you say? Surprise, surprise. Hey, I, it was very exciting to record the album, and I was looking forward to the new one, and mm -hmm. I, I'm very happy about the result. I really, I really love the album by myself. That's very important, and you like the music which you have created, and here you are, fans. Just got the new single, Running Back, today, and you already mm -hmm. have Ball Hog Zone is out. So how's been the response so far from them? Uh, really, really great. I mean, lots of people do like it, and they write me letters or uh, via Facebook or via e email, mm -hmm. and they're pretty excited about the new songs, and they can't wait for the album. It's just one week more. Absolutely, man. This waiting game is is absolutely the most uh, annoying <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> I do hate it too. I mean, I was uh, the, the album was I was ready with uh, recording end of May. Mm -hmm. And then I had to wait for a couple of weeks for Charlie Bauerfein because he was very busy for mixing this thing. Mm -hmm. But it was actually f finalized. The, uh, the whole thing was three months ago. So uh, you have to wait and wait and wait. <laughs> Indeed, it surely is. Here you have a power-packed album. It's got that 70s heavy metal vibe when you've left no stone unturned. It, it kind of felt to me like, you know, the classic heavy metal sound one cannot miss you know it's something which has come out straight from your heart straight from in fact all the four musicians who are part of it and what makes even more you know a connection is it connects directly to the listener's heart so that's very important and this connection which you have done with this album and you know, i felt it my team felt it and i'm sure fans are going to feel it as well Oh, sure. I mean, as you said, uh, this music, if I write music, of, especially these albums that I've done, you have to, it has to come out of your heart. You have to have a vision and you have to want to do something. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to give it as lot as expression and a lot of energy and roughness mm -hmm. and like, like this music should, uh, should sound like, you know. I'm not, I'm not a person that creates an album or writes an album with a calculator or something you know mm -hmm. so what 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 comes in my mind i put out absolutely and unlike other solo albums where the entire creative liberty is in the hands of the person i know whom the name is after but here you are giving creative liberty to everyone in the band so that it can be together as one family and here we have you know the synergy of four musicians so you know uh, it kind of reminded me of a lyric from a ball hog zone. You are in a ball hog zone, you will never win alone. So you give a pretty much good preference to a team instead of just one person. I, I really, I mean, it says, uh, it, it, the headline on the, on the thing is Hammer Frank, because I started it as a solo project, because I was getting tired that I couldn't find some, uh, always people, they stick f uh, with me for a couple of years and mm -hmm. they couldn't take my pace. So, but uh, um, Rick is now on uh, the second time, for the second time on an album. Mm -hmm. And these days I got the feeling that it might be a band. And we are lo really looking forward to do some live shows together. And that's what what's the song Bardock Zone is, is, is all about. You never will, uh, you can't do anything, you can't do music by your own. True. And, I re and uh, for me personally, it's really important to have friends besides me and uh, go for, with them for practicing in the same room. After practicing, to go out for a pub and have a couple of beers, have a nice talk. And, and that's really important to, to create some good music. Indeed, it surely is. And, and the beauty, obviously, of this album lies in the riffs. I mean, not only are they simple, but the way they, are, the, they create a memorable stack in the mind. And that's very important. And, you know, I was listening to it and I, whenever, you know, I listen to it, it it's more like I hum to the tunes, like, you know, the ball of zone <laughs> or even running back. So the way it creates a powerful image in the brain, and I'm sure your fans are going to feel the same. So I'm sure it was a conscious decision to write simple songs that make a huge impact i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't call them simple songs i mean acdc is doing simple songs but they stick in your mind you know 
That's and the, the and the, the the big thing is to have kind of simple songs so people can remember it. You have mm-hmm. to you have to catch them, and that's the best way is is, is a good riff, a, a, remi- a remindable riff, and and good a, a good a chorus line and 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 nice melodies on it, so people can follow. It it I wouldn't l- like to do an album. It's so technical, over over overdosed. Mm-hmm. That nobody could follow any lead, or also in a in in a solo or in a guitar solo, there has to be something you have to remind to. True, true, definitely. And the Rick's vocals are bang on, and and obviously you two sound terrific on on you know, on you on guitar, Rick and vocals. There's a sing along factor, which is the really most interesting thing I like. I mean, I'm sure, like you said, as you guys are going to plan to play this live, every song has a has that chorus, which I'm sure fans are going to sing along as you play it live. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean hey, that's that's what it's all about. And we, I mean, if I record some songs, I always get in mind how might they sound if I uh, um, do them on stage. You know, mm-hmm. if we play them on stage. And if you can't play it in the practice room, then mm-hmm. you shouldn't record a song. True, true, definitely. And and Herman, I mean, you've been on road for so many years, and with this. And then on the, with this band which you have now, obviously you said you're going to take it live. So uh, you know there are core fans out there in Germany whom I've met and who cherish you with accept. And now even with your solo project as well, would you do any special shows in 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 your homeland for for your fans out there? I think we uh, uh, for right now the plan is that we start um, the last in the end of uh, February, the last two weeks of February, and this uh, and the second two weeks in March, so we do a block of four weeks. Mm-hmm. We do a kind of like warm-up show. So, I mean, um, quite honestly, we never played really live on stage with True. this band, band, so we have to warm up a little bit. And I guess we will do some festivals all over Europe, hopefully, and then we will see the future is wide open. Absolutely. Look, you know, you've been there for, for decades and, and, and you've seen it happening. You've been part of Accept. You've been, you know, as a own project with Victory and, you know, yeah. Herman Frank as well. What's the most important lesson you've learned as a songwriter over the period of three decades that still makes you, that keeps still, still keeps you inspiring to write songs? You have to lift this kind of music. You have to lift. You have to live in a in in a, in a way a musician does. You have to love what you're doing, and you never should stop practicing. <laughs> That's the most important lesson I got in my life. And you still you have to keep your your fun in, in into what you're doing, mm-hmm. and and you shouldn't give up. If if a song didn't won't work out the first week maybe it works out the second week you have to work on a song definitely and this entire album has that you know that signature accept riff many times i came across and i was like okay this is herman's riff <laughs> and every time in fact you know the the moment i heard blind rage i thought this has got to be herman frank's riff so you know you have such a strong control over your songwriting and you know which is even phenomenal and over the period of time you never got time to write something on your own like as you were with accept I'm sure I got time. I mean, I'm I'm always uh, keeping my ideas on on this my little. Now I have an iPhone, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I can I, I re- can record when I'm practicing, and I do. Uh, if if a riff comes up, I record them uh, on the iPhone or anything else, and then when I get the time and 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 settle down, then I go to my little studio and work them out. Mm-hmm. I mean, r- writing is. You never can tell when it happened, but when it happened, then you have to, then you have to go on. Absolutely, and you were when you were with Accept. I mean, was it like that? The Accept schedule was taking your entire time that you couldn't focus on writing your own solo project when you were in Accept. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I could could have wrote some stuff, but it wouldn't have have make any sense because, mm-hmm. as I said, if I write an a CD or put out an CD, I want to go out live. True. That's yeah. the most important thing for me. And the schedule of except, I never knew, are we out in March till May or are we back home or what What? what, what are we doing the whole year? There was no tight, tight schedule. Okay. And, now, and now I got 
my my I'm, I'm, I can go by my own. You know, I can plan for the next year, and that 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 was the point that I, then that it makes sense that I uh, form a band. Absolutely, and I saw you guys live last year, same time, twelve months ago at Weizenhoser Strands at Metal Hammer Paradise with Panzer. Yeah, so, hey, that so, was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was my first Panzer gig in, in Germany where I saw you, Shamir. And in fact, I had a chat with Shamir a couple of weeks ago as he's touring Europe for, for a tour with Flotsam. So he told me there are plans of another Panzer album in the future when he's obviously mm -hmm. done with Destruction. So you guys are I, can't, I can't do Panzer anymore. Oh. I will focus, I will focus my, 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 my force on, on the Sherman Frank thing. Oh, so, I mean, is, is, was it just a one-off album? More or less. I mean, it was really fun for me to, to write this album. I wrote t 10 out of 12 songs, mm -hmm. and for, in musical-wise, it was quite a nice experience. It was different style, a little bit kind of different style I was done before. True. But um, all in all, I mean, Shmi is too busy. I'm too busy now with my thing, mm -hmm. and I, I, I won't go on with Panzer. Oh man, I mean, you know, I was yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I'm glad you got a new. I mean, you got your own project. Obviously, you know, fans are going to expect that as well. But the the combination, the power, which was that on yeah. that album, was was phenomenal. That that was interesting, really interesting. And I, as I said, it was pretty much excited. I was pretty much excited about it. But all in all, it might, it wouldn't work out, you know. So it, it's not only just about the music. <laughs> Indeed, I surely understand that. You know, you left except to pursue your love for writing own music, which yeah. I'm sure fans are going to perish. You did one belter of an album with Shmir, like I said, with, with Panzer, and now with the solo album. So if you had to look back at your career from decades and decades, which album would you pick up that is that's something where you look at and feel this is uh, what this is the pinnacle of Herman Frank I've done till date? For example, I've done three Moondogs, three Moondog albums too, mm -hmm. and there was one, the third one, the Re Realm of Legends. Mm -hmm. I still love this album. So that's the pinnacle of Herman Frank, right? Yeah, hey, if I mean there, there are so many albums, I, I, I love them all. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but if right. I if I pick out it now, right now this one okay this week i pick out this one next week maybe <laughs> i pick out another one you know <laughs> so it keeps mixing so you know the last three except album i loved i've seen you guys live so many times although you didn't you know you didn't write any of the songs but your presence on stage and yeah. the way you control this has always been a, very close to my heart so you know with now you taking on Rowan, i'm i'm going to be super excited to see how these songs you know uh, turn out live because i get a very good feeling when i think of it how it will be live i mean as i said they are written for 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 live performance you know mm -hmm. and i think we can do it live like in the way we we recorded them it will be really powerful and energy like but i I think I, I have in mind to have a little bit different kind of so also do maybe a medley or p uh, put two or three two songs together in one and mm -hmm. go from one chorus to the next song or, <laughs> or something like that like the old Rainbow did right I right. mean Rich, Richie Blackmore was a master in doing this you know then he over a sudden he they 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 turned in a in, in a in, in a kind of session part and and a long guitar solo then he did a a duet with this, just with the singers and stuff like that. Sure. I want to make I want to keep it inter interesting, you know. Not only playing the songs live, they are like they are on, on the record. That's kind. Of, it would be boring for me. Absolutely. I would do a little bit, con a little bit show around, a little bit concert. Indeed, Herman. Herman, a couple of days ago, we have you know, Trump becoming a president. And do you kind of put any interest in the politics and see how you know <laughs> one person whom almost everyone hates has now become the president of states? I mean, I keep out of this business. Uh, as I mean, I wouldn't like if 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 all the people around the world would tell the Germans if they go for voting the president, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. The American uh, folks, I mean, they are not stupid anyway. I mean, they're living nice people over there, and they're, they're, they're the same intelligence like we, like the Germans or the Swedish guys or any anybody else on on the world. Mm -hmm. So we should give them the freedom to 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 vote their president, and and they did. So we have to accept this. That was like democratic voting. 
they, they, they overdo this whole thing. I mean, everybody's t talking about, oh, this man is, is like character of, of something. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, do we know this person really? Really? True, true. Absolutely. I mean, do, do, we, do we all the, all the news which, which are happening in, in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't have enough information for them to judge, you know, we can't and we it. should respect, we should respect the votes of, of 100 million people or 150 million people. How many people voted? 100 million, 150? If you had to, you know, the mention the, 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 the devil writes out, if you had to kind of define it in a sentence, what would you say? I mean, for me personally, I, uh, you can put this all, all over the world as the meaning. But for me personally, it was a kind of like meaning that always on my left shoulder, if, mm -hmm. if it's the a devil or if, if it's a god, it doesn't matter. Um, it sounded better, the devil rise out than the god rise out. <laughs> That's really much. But it's, it's kind of like the same thing. It's always there a little part sitting on your shoulder and say you have to get up and you have to practice and you have, you should write a song you shouldn't give up and you should come up with a new album you shouldn't stop doing things and th this happens to every people every people out in the world you know also to, in, in the politics or something uh, that's a f factor which starts new things good or bad things absolutely but it's just a factor well, okay right, thanks Take for care. thanks for taking your time See bye you. bye